Hello and welcome to Process Improve in Japan, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening in Japan's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Corriero. My name is Kozo Sakano. Up first, we have some sad news. The chairman of the world's one of the world's largest machine tool companies, Mr. Teruyuki uh, Yamazaki, has died. He passed away yesterday, mm. and uh, that was due to the heart failure. Mm. He was 82 years old. Yeah. Not so young, not so old. Mm. Mm. He contributed a lot to not only Japan, but in in terms of business, but also culturally. Culturally, yes. Uh, he opened the uh, Yamazaki Mazak Museum of Art last year. Featuring his private collections, especially of his um, French artworks. It's quite an incredible museum, and if you do come to Japan, please come uh, and take a look. Uh, he also internationalized the company and he was the one who um, basically spent most of his time abroad um, engineering business and it was Margaret Thatcher that actively encouraged him to uh, internationalize in the 80s. Right, and uh, during that time he spent a lot of time in Europe mm. uh, where he actually collected a great uh, fine arts, mm. paintings mm. and so forth. Mm. Okay, so in other news, Toyota held a groundbreaking ceremony in Jakarta to open its second production facility. They will be increasing production from 110,000 cars to 180,000 cars. Yeah, and uh, that was a big ceremony with uh, 400 uh, people mm. participated, in, that include the government people mm. and the local suppliers. Mm. And uh, the ministry, uh, the minister of uh, industry, expressed his desire that the in Indonesia will play a leading role in that uh, Eastern uh, area for car uh, for car in, production. Yeah, in auto industries. In the last three years, 150 Japanese companies have opened up branches or plants in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Toyota is back to pre-earthquake production levels in Japan, two months ahead of schedule. Oh, that's in North America. Oh, in North America. North America, so. yes. Mm. And due to the recovery, a quick recovery mm. of the uh, parts availability, they could ensure ah, the uh, stable production. So they could uh, make up for the loss mm. two months earlier mm. than they had expected. Mm. The quick recovery of Japan's supply chain and logistics um, was noted and it's, it's been able to help the recovery in all areas in, of the world in terms of car production. That's right. Suzuki Motors finalizes its plan to build a second plant in India with a 100, and, oh, 100 billion yen investment. Yeah, that's a sign of uh, economic cooperation between Japan and India. Yeah. 725 com Japanese companies are in India at the moment. Yeah, pro more than that. Oh, okay. Mm. We'll give it an approximate figure then. Mm. Um, due to the climbing yen, uh, record numbers of Japanese have been traveling overseas. Uh, about 1.8 million people went overseas in the month of August. Really? That's uh, 1.8 1. 1. 1. million Japanese. Yes. Wow. Yen is very high, mm. so they feel everything is so cheap. It's such a chance. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And August is also the Obon holiday, which um, mm. most auto manufacturing staff have about a 10-day holiday. It's a great time to take advantage of the cheap right. um, international mm. airfares and stuff. And compared with last year, that's a 1.1% increase. Okay, Nadeshiko soccer team, we mentioned before, you know, they won the World Cup, things have been going crazy, it's been really good for the stock market. Well, it's still good for business, but this time in beauty, <laughs> beauty products. What well, happened? Well, one of the, the best strikers, uh, Naomi Kawashima, uh, she arrived after the tournament and she was asked by a reporter uh, after the hard uh, series of hardship. And she said, well, I want to relax and I also want to take care of my skins. Mm -hmm. As I was not able to uh, take care of my skin, I have some pimples. 
Now, she said it quite naturally. It was not um, mm. for you know a business motivated event, but it did turn into that where she got a um, she got immersed with um, opportunities to become the face of Japanese beauty products. Right, and she might appear on TV commercials. Interesting. Also, mm. this is what we forgot to mention. Mm. They offered, they actually got the Audi. The Nadeshiko soccer team. Yes. Yeah. Audi company uh, gave them uh, Audi for three to five years. Three to five years. Lease. Free lease. Wow. So basically, each member of the winning team got, has um, been given a lot of gifts from different corporations in cash and prizes, and uh, one was the Audi. And so now each one of them can be zipping around, can be seen zipping around uh, Japan in a, in a brand new Audi for the next five years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now uh, Sugano-san really desperately wants to tell you what this Japanese holiday on Monday is all about. Go ahead. Well, we have many national holidays. Uh, surprisingly enough, mm. I actually this month, uh, ne Monday next week, 19th, we have the respect for the eighth day. So you have to show respect to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not so old. I do respect you. <laughs> That's it for this week. Thank you for joining us. Please check out our website www.processimprovementjapan.com for more information and further details on the Toyota production system. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week.